And while the RTX 4090 is easily one of the most powerful cards on the market, it's important to note that GPU makers are a little bit sneaky. When it comes to naming GPUs, you see when any brand uses a mobile NVIDIA GPU that is a, a smaller form factor version, it is usually appended by the letter M. So if you're buying an RTX 4090M laptop, it's actually an RTX 4090M, and that means it's actually not an RTX 4090, but an RTX 4080 instead. And that way, all laptop GPUs are one step down, so an RTX 4080M on a laptop would be an RTX 4070. An RTX 4070M on a laptop would be an RTX 4060, um, and, and so on. Um, and that may seem a bit peculiar, um, but AMD does a similar thing too. That's mostly because it's easier for a company like NVIDIA to say the RTX 4090 is the best GPU you can buy on any device instead of going into detail by saying the RTX 4090 is the best we can do on desktop, while the RTX 4080 is the best we can do on a laptop. And the fact that you're not getting an RTX 4090 on a laptop isn't really a bad thing because even the RTX 4090, aka the RTX 4080, already has to be throttled sometimes due to heat. So if you got an actual RTX 4090 in your laptop, you basically never get to use it to its full potential. Full um, so with that little bit about GPUs and laptops over, let's jump straight into our favorite picks in various categories. All of these have the RTX 4090M and also generally have similar specs and prices, with the main difference being screen size and thickness, something we go into a bit more at the bottom. To that end, make sure to think about what you want the laptop for, besides just gaming. As you look through our list below, uh, buy that if you want the best overall RTX 4090 laptop. Um, uh, buy the half a sin if you want the best thin and light RTX 4090 laptop. Uh, buy the if you want the best 18 inch RTX 4090 laptop. And buy the if you want the best 17 inch RTX 4090 laptop. Uh, buy the if you want the best 14 inch uh, RTX 4090 laptop. Uh, pros, cons, high end CPU. Still quite expensive. Solid construction. Bit heavy and bulky. Lots of RAM uh, when you get sick. Now, Alienware is one of the most well-known names in the gaming laptop space. So it's probably no surprise to see them at the top of this list with this real Alienware M16, which is an excellent choice if you want something that balances specs versus price. Along with the RTX 4090, this configuration comes with the Intel Core i9-13900HX, one of its CPUs on the market that won't cause any sort of bottlenecks with the RTX 4090. Not only that, but it's a good option if you want to stream to YouTube or Twitch, since it will be able to handle both the game and the transcoding. Uh, in terms of screens, uh, you have you know a couple of different options. But we opted for the best of the best, uh, since the RTX 4090 uh, can handle it pretty well. Uh, so you get a 16-inch. Uh, screen with a 2560 times 1600 resolution and so just a bit better than your typical 1440p uh, and means you get the superior ratio at least for gaming. It can also get very impressive 240 hertz refresh rate and while you'll likely get relatively close you might have to compromise on some of the graphical settings if you want to hit that sort of refresh rate. Um, as for other specs, you get 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, so you'll have an overall smooth experience, um, and it will also help a bit with streaming. Um, storage is also pretty excellent uh, at 2 terabytes, um, although with how big games have gotten, you might fill that up in the long run. Of course, uh, battery life isn't great, which is to be expected, given that you have such powerful specs running under the hood. Um, although the overall build is great, so we can't complain on that front. Um, um, features that weight 5, RAM 32 DAF, and a temperature of the interesting thing that they saw. Um, this is just kind of get the same sense of our, uh, of the wheat of the week. Uh, honestly, pros, cons, smart, and stylish uh, design. Uh, RTX 4090 can't shine in this size. 
uh, powerful high-end NVIDIA graphics, battery life's a bit weak. Beautiful, finding a gaming laptop that has one of the best GPUs in the market, while also being thin and light, is very difficult. And yet, the Zephyrus M16 manages to hit both the GPU and the small size and form. At just 0.78 inches thick, it's probably one of the thinnest laptops on the list, and the overall design is very minimalist, also making it a bit more compact and good looking. Practically, it can fit into pretty much any environment without somebody thinking you're playing one of the best gaming laptops you can get. And uh, as for other specs, you get a similarly excellent Intel Core i9-13900H, which can handle pretty much most tasks and games you throw at it without too much worry. Although, we should touch upon the issue of thermal throttling. While it doesn't affect the CPU as much, this tiny chassis means that the RTX 4090 can't run its full power and draw and defaults to 85 watts. And while it can be boosted to 150 watts, it runs much hotter and louder. This has gotten a bit better since the laptop first came out, but really it is something to consider when investing in the Zephyrus M16. All that said, the 16-inch monitor is great and runs a QHD resolution and an impressive 240 hertz refresh rate, and while the situation with the GPU isn't ideal, you become do at least have the option to uh, prioritize either the refresh rates or the graphics fidelity. Besides that, it also comes with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM and two terabytes of storage, both of which are excellent and what I would hope to see at this price point. The Zephyrus M16 is also very well built and feels solid, which we'd want to hope given how much it's going for. Overall, uh, while the Zephyrus M16 has GPU issues in terms of power draw, you should prioritize the fact that it's thin and light, which a lot of other laptops on this list aren't, so it's well worth the compromise. Uh, specification screen size 16 inches processor, Intel Core i9 13900H RAM, uh, 32 gigabyte DDR5 storage to uh, TD weight, 5.07 pounds. Um, pros, cons, uh, large screen and uh, very heavy, good thermal performance, uh, battery life not ideal, a great keyboard experience. Uh, there's very little point in having a high-end GPU uh, if you aren't going to be enjoying it with a big screen, uh, which is why we really like uh, this Alienware M18, uh, which can take advantage of the higher 2560 or 1600 resolution. Uh, it can also hit an impressive 165 hertz refresh rate, which you're more likely to hit than the higher 240 hertz. That said, there is an option for this laptop that has a 1080p screen with a whopping 480 hertz refresh rate that's made for those who play competitive esports games and want that extra edge. Communication. Uh, it's probably not a surprise that this comes with an Intel Core i9-13980HX, given how expensive and high-end this gaming laptop is. It's worth noting that with this CPU um, and, and the fact that the screen can hit 100% of the DCI-P3 gamut, this is a solid option for those who want to do um, rendering or graphical editing and rendering or um, video editing. Um, the CPU is also pretty great for music production, um, and while we probably wouldn't lug around the 890 pound weight around to gigs, it works well for use at home. Uh, speaking of the weight, uh, this is more of a desktop replacement, uh, given that it's also uh, nearly an inch thick, so it's not as convenient uh, to carry around. Luckily, it does have the same powerful 32 gig of DDR5 RAM and the two terabyte of storage as uh, other laptops on this list, so it's a, it's a solid work-based replacement. Uh, also, because the larger chassis, it can do a better job of uh, expelling heat, uh, especially with the mass of fans in the back, so you aren't gonna be thermally throttled like you would with the Zephyrus M16. Um, 
less, you know, every big inches uh, specifications, screen size 18 inches in processor Intel, uh, Core i9-1398HX RAM, uh, 32 GB DDR5 storage, 2 TB weight. Uh, pros, cons then, and, and minimalist design, um, still a bit heavy. Uh, perfect for online meetings, can run a bit hot. Um, excellent battery life. Uh, well, an 18 inch screen is great. It can be a bit big for some people. So going for a middle ground of 17 inches, like with the MSI Stealth, one big 17 uh, is, is a good idea. And also one big positive of the Stealth 17 is it's, it's also pretty thin. And while it can somewhat compete with the Zephyr M16, on that front, it's still a bit of a heavy laptop at 6.17 pounds. That's not as bad as the Alienware M18. It makes it slightly more portable, especially since it's easier to find bags that fit 17-inch laptops than 18-inch laptops, which are rather rare. And as for hardware, it's much the same as previous options with an Intel Core i9-13900H and two terabytes of storage to work with, although you get a much larger 64 gig of DDR5 RAM to work with, and if you do a lot of CAD or 3D modeling, that will certainly help. The 17-inch screen is also pretty grateful that sort of work, and True HD resolution combined with the 240 Hz refresh rate will give you a smooth experience, whether you're doing modeling or graphical rendering and video editing. Also, the screen also has mini LED backlighting, which means better overall contrast due to more controlled local dimming. Uh, of course, it's important to mention at this point that the MSI Stealth does suffer from the same problem all high-end demon laptops suffer from. Heat, a smaller frame means fewer pathways for air to move um, and, and much smaller fans. So while it's not as bad as it is with the Zephyrus M16, it's still going to be an access to a SOAR. Um, you can, if you're expecting to get the most out of the RTX 4090, and that's pretty cool if you have to decide whether it's more important to have a, a thin laptop, large screen, and middling performance, or uh, a larger laptop with better performance. Uh, Specification screen size, 17 inches processor, Intel Core i9-13900H, RAM 64GB, DDR5, storage 2 TB weight, 6.17 pounds. A pros, cons, excellent gaming machine, noisy at idle, responsive touchpad, unique lid design, uh, big screen laptops are great, uh, but if you're interested in something petite and easy to put under your arm, then the Zephyrus G14 is it. With just a 14-inch screen, this thing is absolutely tiny. At 77 inches thick, and with a weight of only 3.79 pounds, we're wondering how they managed to fit an RTX 4090 in here. And that's going to add an RTX 4090 it does. How well it does suffer from similar heat issues like the other thin laptop, it's still a pretty amazing thing to have in such a small package. Um, uh, but another nice thing to see is that it comes with an AMD Ryzen 9 7940HS CPU, uh, something that's pretty rare with RTX 4090s. Uh, so if you're a fan of an AMD CPUs, you're in luck. So for everybody else, uh, the Ryzen 9 7940HS is a high-end processor um, equivalent to the other i9s on this list and is uh, a little bit more efficient and cheaper, which we're sure is just the advantage of when configuring this laptop. Um, either way, you aren't going to find much that's going to phase it, and it will uh, kind of handle high-end tasks similar to um, the other laptops from uh, video editing to music production. Um, and as for the screen, it runs a 256066 times 1600 with a solid 165 hertz refresh rate and a really bright 500 nets, which is good considering it's meant to be portable and be used in places with potentially bright lights or sunlight. Also, while the smaller size means you only get a one terabyte SSD for storage, which you can supplement with one of these external drive deals, you still get 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM to work with. Um, multiple. Um, again, 
maybe really push the DPGC uh, uh, services to uh, essentially uh, investing uh, seven days. But I was on your Fat Day show, you see, but and the reality is when it comes to having laptops with an RTX 4090, there aren't a lot of options out there with all of them pretty much having the same sort of specs that make sense too, given that brand names will have to charge a lot of money. They also feel obliged to pack them with a ton of other high-end specs. That often leaves very little choice besides just screen size and overall chassis size. And that's how we differentiated between all the choices, giving you roughly the same sort of specs but based on different screen sizes. Um, and one big benefit of going uh, this route is that you have more freedom to pick what's important to you besides just having a high-end GPU. Um, and for example, if you want something as a desktop replacement, then um, going for a bulky 18-inch screen is great, but if you want something portable, well, then a 14-inch laptop makes a lot of more sense. This may sound boring, given that part of the fun of laptops is seeing different manufacturers try different specs, but it actually is a lot easier since you get to look at the picture and decide what you value most instead of being stuck in the weeds. No. This article is managed and uh, created separately from the digital trends uh, editorial team.